Hi, I'm Peter Haddock and I'm here with Jeroen. And Jeroen, you are doing something really quite interesting in the Benelux region. And basically, you're educating a lot of the industry. In fact, they've got over 2,000 pages on their website telling you all about how to do surveying and how to do different things. But what jumped out of that website was the fact that I saw you are a specialist in monuments and historic buildings and also very complex government facilities that are, can be quite classified. There's a big job to do there looking after monuments and historic um, buildings because you've got to actually maintain and monitor them. So that's the kind of stuff you're doing. How are you doing it and, and how have you built up the business to be so successful? Yeah, well 22 years ago we started. Uh, in the beginning it was very traditional, so we worked with, uh, for example, just, just a measurement tape. Oh, right, uh, okay. And just all measurement uh, instruments. And then the projects got bigger and bigger. Uh, we needed a total station. Well, and actually, immediately uh, we chose to work with Leica uh, because, well, it's very simple. We didn't do even, we didn't have to do a lot of investigation to see that they are just making the best products, so uh, it was very simple for us. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, and it suits also uh, the character and the philosophy of the company to always do it a little bit more better. Right. And, uh, well, also the slogan or payoff of like as when it has to be right. Exactly. And actually it's matching our own uh, payoff. So, um, well, this, the, the, it was, was simple to, uh, to choose the materials. And that is where we started uh, working. And so now you're using the uh, technologies like this, the RTC 3, yeah. 360 mm -hmm. is on your fleet of equipment and such. Yeah. And um, you're obviously, you're doing a lot for the industry in general. We talked about those educational tools, but yeah. you've also training in-house uh, all your team and, and all the supporting other clients as well. So, Tell me a bit about the importance of training. Yeah, the importance of, uh, um, well, first of all, uh, it, it suits our business. So we, we like to, to, to teach people, of course. Uh, and we think also that uh, in a lot of education in the Netherlands, in a lot of schools, uh, they don't pay enough attention uh, on, on the land surveying and everything around that. So um, schools develop maybe in the Netherlands a little bit too slow now and then. Yep. So we started uh, teaching uh, um, all uh, uh, people from, from schools, uh, young people, uh, but also uh, companies that are already on the business, already on the market for a long time. So uh, well, I just, we just feel that it's better to uh, to give people more knowledge. Yeah, and yeah. we do this by writing articles on our website and also by training people and, and doing this education in-house, yeah. but also at the education, at the schools, at the universities, we help them with giving the courses. And so that's really important because what we do see, and you talked to me about this earlier, is, is a need for practical level ed education, yeah. Yeah. for on-site. These are the challenges that you will face when you go into the workplace yeah. and into some it of is. these more difficult buildings and historic buildings, because you've got to look after them as well as scan them, of course, haven't you? Yeah, 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 it's yeah. true. So the, the big thing about you coming here to Hexagon Live 2022, yes. um, what are you coming here for? What have, what have you already gleaned from here? And, and what is it going to do for your business moving forward? Yeah, well, actually, we, we don't know when we, when we arrive here. So in 2019 was the first time that we got here. Um, and it's a lot for me. It's different than, for example, my colleague. Um, for me, it's, I'm not really searching for things. It, it, it has a lot of to do with, with an inspiration. Right. And to see how things develop in the world um, and how the world is developing and how we can uh, play a part in that. So how we can help companies or the world, but uh, it's difficult to do that, um, with, all, uh, with all we can do with software, with hardware. Um, but for me myself, I'm not really, I'm very open walking around it. It's a lot to do with inspiration. 
Yeah, and so you're sucking in ideas, and I think a lot of this is about the keynote speaking and the, the other elements to it, but also you've brought a contingent from the Benelux region where you can actually talk together and you yeah. can look at how you can work collaboratively. Oh, that's very with important. Colleagues, it's very it? important. Some some uh, people have to a little bit uh, afraid maybe in the beginning to, to talk a lot with, with competitors. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but we decided with the whole Dutch group that we would be very would be a good idea to be very open yep. and here in Las Vegas uh, spend a lot of time uh, getting to know each other and then uh, after a few days or a few nights um, this this is really beginning to, 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 to pay off so um, uh, right now we are very open we are uh, also really discussing problems that we have that maybe yeah, yeah. are a little bit sensitive now and then yeah. but all people that own a company or work in this business or are a managing director or whatever um, they have the same problems frustrations uh, emotions and I like it very much that uh, uh, we can we can all speak very openly about these problems. So it's not only about technique, of course we are here for innovation and techniques, yeah. but for me it's very important. The keynote speakers are very important for me, my, for me myself, and I like it that I can have personal conversations with competitors. Yeah. It's, it's great that this, this can happen. Yeah. And it's fantastic as well that I can meet you and uh, understand how you're looking after historic buildings in the, your area. And we've got a lot of them in the UK where that can benefit from the, the techniques and the, and the scanning technologies that are out there to maintain them, to monitor them and to keep them as a historic monument for people to see for generations to come. Great to meet you today and have a great rest of Hexagon Live. Yeah, thank you very much. Cheers. Yeah.